times you just come across some certain articles, some certain statements that were made by most so royal commentators, royal insiders, of course the haters and the derangers at large. And then they are so much publicized and you're like, okay, even if the person was publishing this, was he like, fine. Because trust me, you at certain times statements are made and they are very, very irrelevant. They don't add up at all. They don't make sense. And uh, they tend to make their season of theirs, the misfortune they're facing, look as if Harry and Meghan need to be part of it. Basically, I'm speaking about them having wanted to get a tribute from Harry and Meghan to Charles and Kat. They've stated this so much. They've made it like it was an an institutional issue but in real sense no it's not because even the professionals themselves said Charles condition is something manageable and it will take him two to three weeks before he gets back to work but the rate at which they've made this whole story turn out to be kind of you know an institutional announcement it's just very very alarming there's this whole statement stated by Angela Moland, if Harry is smart, he will jump on a plane. This is the moment he must grow up and be there for his family, or first becoming irrelevant. What's this? I thought they already say that he, he's irrelevant, no longer popular, that he is not loved at all. Now they're making it like they just want to hear from Harry. They want to get sympathy from the Duke of Sussex and they think by them bringing such statements it's probably going to shake another Duke of Sussex but one thing I bet I know that is very much evident it's not going to shake in him even for a single bit because the way they mistreated him was really really bad it's something that somebody you can forgive but forgetting is something that is going to take a lot of time let me take you through the article written by the mail and you just give me your comments and thoughts of what you think about this because personally i've read it and i'm like wow so now they're coming to realization it's just, it's they can't survive without the duke of sussex and that they want him back it's just that they can't say it's straight that's why they tend to meander using vocabularies and words hoping that it's going to shake in him more than at any other time in her life, Prince Harry is at crossroads. His 75-year-old father is heading to hospital for surgery. His sister-in-law is in the middle of a health crisis that requires weeks of, requires weeks of treatment. Yet they've not even given people what exactly is the issue. They've decided to make the whole medical thing for kids private, which is okay. You don't even want to know and his brother William has stepped back from work to care for his for those he loves we all know very well this is a joke this is a lie William has taken a break because he still wants to continue lazing around basically he just got an excuse to cut back Probably that's why he did what he did because him coming about with this whole statement of wanting to take care of his wife and kids, it's something that a lot of us out here disagree with. Unless this, if this would have been something that he started previous years, maybe we would have accepted. But the fact that he never did it before, these two people are not even living together. So who exactly is he even taking care of? Without question, this is the moment Harry becomes irrelevant or proves he is the manner of character we once knew him to be. So at some point, they knew that he was very much relevant and that he was a man of character, a man of integrity. But they want to make this whole thing look as if if, if he won't dare make a miss, if he won't dare make an attempt of going back to the UK, then he would have proven himself to be irrelevant. Who cares? So be it, if that's what they want to conclude, they already concluded it years back. Will the Duke of Sussex step up and be the adult his family needs or will he continue to sulk from afar? Of course, he will continue to sulk from afar. There's no need you do things to just prove a point or just wanting to please people who once tormented your life, who once made your life a hell in your own where you were born and raised like wow 
the daily mail has just leave has just left me like i'm speechless in this everything has been seen through the lens of his own widely published publicized suffering but right now it's not about him it's not about being a hair or a spare but a human with a heart it is a beholden upon him to show his genuinely cares wow he like wow they now don't need uh, like they're not considering who's the hair and who's the spare but they want to see his human heart wow this is really really serious i guess that's how they're making it look like but when they were treating him as a spare they never knew to distinguish between the two but now they expect to see the good side of him that they themselves never showed it to him the mail is really funny because they themselves were the front liners of just making his life a hell they're trolling the intrusion just predictable and uh, whatever they've been anticipating negative things day in day out about the duke and duchess of sussex this is really really serious huh? we may expect a lot from uh, this extraordinary family but at heart we want from them what we want from each other kindness and compassion see what they're stating see the terms that they are using like, you know, it's very funny. You're wanting positive, yet all you've always given out is negative. How does that come about? Like, how? This is really, really hilarious. It is when the great lever that is illness comes to call that they are most like us. Harry is a man with big feelings. And now, as he approaches his 40th birthday, this is the moment that he must channel his emotions outwards rather than inwards, perhaps for the first time since his mother died. If he's smart, he will jump on a plane and try and fly to the UK. He won't complain about security or where he might stay, but will be the man who lies thousands all over the country every day down to to be with his family admin their challenges we know harry has a huge heart so they recognize that this is the young man who felt deeply in suffering he saw in africa the soldier who had been melted to the fight in Afghanistan and the compassion to create the Invictus game. He was a man much loved in Britain until the tantrums of the past few years. Quietly and without agenda, this is the moment the Prince Harry must grow up, let bygones be bygones and be there for those he loves. I wish I could speak more about this, but you can see you can tell that they themselves as they were writing they are confessing that truly the duke of sussex is a good person they've written a lot of positive things that he did over the years but them kind of trying to fake this whole thing wanting to capture his attention or just wanting him back but don't want to say it straight and even finishing by saying ever let the bygones be bygones it's really really not adding up this is just fake but at least they've confessed by themselves. They've made it so much clear that you know what? The Duke of Sussex is a kind-hearted man. They know that. I wish they would have just also accepted that he doesn't deserve the treatment that they gave him over the years and would have finished with an apology that would have made a lot of sense as a media outlet. But either way, one thing that I know, I don't think if Harry at any particular point, he's ready to make a move into that particular institution, most especially at their times of crisis. Yet when he was the one facing crisis and challenges, they never dared coming. They never dared to come forward and just, you know, show concern even a single bit. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below. And that was our today's video. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next video. Bye.